Now, this is from um, Mason, um, Cosmic Calliope, and he's got some really advanced stuff. And, and this is a Newtonian telescope, but he's verified basically all my claims about everything being dipoles in space. And you can see all of these magnetic fields around them, and all of this stuff we don't even know about. Because the, 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 the way they build the telescopes and so forth is to filter that stuff out. It's like considered, you know, background noise. But it's something. It, it's, it's, it's something. Whatever it is, is what we need to discover. And that's what we're working on right now. But I can tell you what, every single one of those is a dipole. Everything that I have found is a dipole. Everything is a dipole. There is no doubt about it. You can split the black from the white. Together, they are a die two poles. You can split them apart, and they come right back together just like that. You see this? This is again from Mason. Look at this. There's dipoles going on here. This is a dipole. That's Saturn. There's a lot to think about here, and it has. I think one of my friends sent me some. I think it's like 92 moons around Saturn, and virtually every one of them is named after a god. Now this is dipoles. Everything there is is dipoles. And the bigger it gets, the dipolier it gets. From, from the tiniest par particle there is, which is a dipole electron, they just keep getting bigger and bigger, but you still have dipoles. There is nothing but dipoles. They configure in all kinds of different ways. But you get down to the base unit of everything there is in the universe, as far as I can tell, and it's made out of atomic, subatomic vapor, which is the black and the white dipole. If you're into physics at all, you should look up dipole electron flood theory. All that exists is the white and the black particles. The two of them together make a dipole electron. This is the muon and it's dark matter. That's, makes, that's all the mass. This is all the energy, the white particle. And when they configure into a ball, which is stable at about 1840 dipoles, pushes all the black to the center and all the white ones crowd around the outside. All right, but you can smash that and it'll go into little bits and pieces and they'll go flying everywhere. That's what the atom smashers do. We took light, which is not a big ball like this. It's two of these, two blacks and two whites. It, that's what light is. That's, you got, a, you got a dipole electron, which is one of these that has a plus and a minus side, dipoles. Light is two of those back to back. It makes a little bar magnet. And it spins like this through the air as it passes, charging, discharging, charging, discharging. It's capacitive reactance. It takes on a capacity and it reacts. It takes on it and it just goes through space just like that. Okay, Stefan Burns is presenting a ton of data here. You know, I'm just skimming through this because we're going to go through it together. You know, that's my policy. I drag you through the soup with me. But he's showing where these clusters of earth takes or earthquakes are taking place all over the earth. And there's another video I think that just came in from my friend. Uh, I, I think it's Casey Ver Bird. I, I really don't know him, but he's sending me things. But he's, he's showing data, which you've you got to start with the data of what's happened in the past, what's happening now, and he looks like he's got a lot, of, a lot of stuff to show. However, until you understand it, we're talking about biology here, not just ge geology, rocks and stuff. There's rotting, decomposing things underneath the earth which are causing it to swell. The more heat we get, yes, so that's related to the sun. I, dis I, I agree. I don't disagree with what he's saying necessarily. I don't know exactly what he is saying. But we're going to go into his next video, which is a little more illustrative, I think. I just got into about a minute, but I decided, well, time to do this.